Brexit is based on lies, Yorkshire grandma revealed as anti-Brexit graffitist. Here's a summary of the article. Hazel Jones, a retired school teacher from Wakefield, England, has been revealed to be the graffiti artist behind anti-Brexit slogans written in chalk across many of the walls and fences of a West Yorkshire town. Facebook user Carla Petz, who filmed the 30-second clip of Jones at work on August 2, said she was astounded to discover an elderly woman was behind all the slogans. Jones, 71, wrote the words, Brexit is based on lies. Reject it. She is then seen in the video pocketing the chalk and walking away. Had I known I was being filmed I would have dressed up a bit more, Jones said to the Times when asked about the video. One person wrote, Amazing. Good message and using chalk means no vandalism caused in the process. Keep up the work lady, another said, please, Ms. Hazel Jones, don't stop. You are a legend. Jones, who has been writing political slogans since the EU referendum in 2016, told The Times that she was doing it for her grandchildren, who she believed had been wronged by her generation. Jones, a grandmother of four, said to The Times that she had spent the past three years chalking hundreds of protest slogans around the town while out and about. This post received a score of 15,179, with an upvote ratio of 89%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. From the article, Jones, 71, wrote the words, Brexit is based on lies. Reject it. She is then seen in the video pocketing the chalk and walking away. Had I known I was being filmed I would have dressed up a bit more, Jones said to the Times when asked about the video. The clip has been widely shared across social media garnering praise, as well as excitement among Wakefield residents that the mystery had finally been solved. One person wrote, Amazing. Good message and using chalk means no vandalism caused in the process. Keep up the work lady, another said, please, Ms. Hazel Jones, don't stop. You are a legend. God I love her answer about dressing up lol. She's just being as British as she can be, got to those love elderly ladies who are past giving a fuck, dot but still have standards. I'm really bothered by the idiots that have taken over our governments but Hong Kong and Russia protests give me hope. But the truth is this, it's going to end in massive bloodshed. The powers that be won't let go until their last dying breath. Lol you're getting ahead of yourself considering people in this country haven't taken any kind of meaningful action to protect their democracy. Next up things will start go the V for Vendetta route. Next time Granny will have a Guy Fawkes mask. G for Granny. Grandma's grassroots graffiti grating on the graceless, grimacing gripsacked grifters. The grandam's gravely grandiloquent grammar, grandiose and graphic, is gratefully grokked. Greater than alliteration. I mean, V did it in the movie when he met Evie. So it was thematically appropriate. I know. I'm just indicating what this is called in terms of a literary device. He does it again on the ride on the train. You know, the part at the end. And that one was a whole lot of V for Victor, NATO alphabet. Gotcha. I thought you were mocking him for some reason. I had to learn the NATO alphabet for a job at the USCIS call center. They, before I worked there, had had people saying things like, D as in divorce, or R as in ramming. At least that's what they claimed. So they forced this one on us. I had forgotten the part on the train and now I'm going to Google it and see if I can find it. I'm sure I've just forgotten but that just means it's time for a rewatch. Laughing face. Watchdogs is starting the granny revolution early. Dude, old ladies have been bad asses forever. God bless Mother Jones, a fine example for all the lads and lasses of the world. Oh shit, is that where that phrase come from? I never knew that. Ha. Huh. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.